Hello and welcome to the third wall reinforcement getting started video. In this tutorial, we will show you how to add rebars around openings, windows, and doors. Let's navigate to the sections for opening, door, and window reinforcement. The difference between these three sections is that opening reinforcement is designed for openings formed by editing wall profiles or creating voids with generic model families. Door and window reinforcement is created around families of the door and window category accordingly. However, all the other settings remain consistent across these sections. When we access the opening reinforcement section, on the right hand side we find three tabs edge rebar, diagonal rebar, and stirrups. Each of these tabs can be copied from the settings applied to windows or doors. You can include as many new items as necessary to specify the desired number of bars by selecting New Item. Keep in mind that only up to two bars can be added per row. You have the option to define the opening size by establishing both minimum and maximum opening dimensions. We have the capability to customize rebar type and the face position, which can be added to the top and bottom, left and right, or individually for each side. Various length options are available, including extension, to the left, to the right, or left to right. Setting cover values for each row is a critical part of the process. It is worth noting that the plugin does not automatically identify clashes between bars, so you must ensure that rebars do not intersect by adjusting the cover values. Concerning covers, you can refer to the explanatory image provided below for clarification. When you intend to create a new rebar set, the parameters for the newly added rebars will be replicated from the chosen row. The position option is available only when a single bar placement has been selected. Now, let's proceed to the other tab where we can include diagonal rebars. In this tab, you can define rebars that are rotated by 45 degrees at the corners of the openings. The image provides guidance on which parameters to consider when creating diagonal rebars. Enabling the bend bar at the edges option will result in the diagonal bar being bent when there is insufficient space for anchorage distance. The remaining settings should be familiar. In the stirrups tab, you can insert stirrups around the openings. Let's include a new item. After setting parameters such as opening size, and bar face position, you can move to the bar shape tab to define the shape you want to use, which can be either U or O shape. When selecting the U shape, there is an option to generate an O stirrup if the solid width from the opening to the wall edge is less than the defined distance. In this case, it will extend the U shape bar and modify it to an O shape bar. You have the flexibility to select the hook type and its position from the available list. In the upcoming video, we will demonstrate how to include perimeter rebars. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.